<laughs> okay, so just a little background for you guys. This lesson is kind of intended to wrap up a unit on ecology and evolution. It's a 10th grade biology class. Um, they already have had a unit on genetics. Don't worry, we're not gonna get into details there for those of you who are not familiar. Um, and they have already discussed um, human impacts on ecology and evolution, and we're just kind of delving a little bit deeper. Uh, and what I'm gonna do today is we're really just going over these pre-reading exercises for like a bigger project for the next day. Uh, so you guys won't actually be doing any reading um, for this mini lesson, but you're kind of gonna see like what the project would be and um, how we're gonna attack how we're gonna be successful in our reading. So, we're, we're ready now? <laughs> so, good morning everybody, welcome to class. Before we get going on our new very exciting project, we're gonna review a couple really important words from yesterday that you all are gonna see in your reading. But generally, you think of the subject as a little bit more objective interpretation as maybe bringing in, bringing in other thoughts. Yeah. Hey guys, um, 10 more seconds. Kind of wrap up your thoughts. If you have 
you have any issues, raise your hand. I'll come guide you a minute. Yeah. If you have any issues, what's up? We got stuck in the word interpreting. We were arguing. I thought that it would be just like summary, summarizing, but it would be basically with your own biases and opinions. And Alyssa seemed to think that it would go much beyond that and that you would almost be like changing it. Great. I'm going to hug you guys. <laughs> okay. So we're going to talk about this as a group real quick. Uh, Alyssa and Mallory had a good point. And what they were basically saying, or Mallory, can you elaborate for us a little bit? What was the issue? What was the point? So we were arguing, like we, we both agreed on what summarizing was. But for interpreting, I thought it was more almost exactly like a summary, but with our personality in it. And Alyssa, do you want to explain your side of it? I thought it would be more opinion based. And so I thought maybe I could add what I was thinking. And she thought personality was like your own experiences. I thought I could come up with whatever and add it in. Yeah, so that's a really good point. So a summary, the good parts of a summary, what were you guys kind of thinking about with that? What's a, what's a summary? The main points. Yeah, it's like the main points, it's brief, right? Okay. And so when you interpret something, you're kind of taking those main points and you're kind of forming a conclusion about it, right? So what do you guys think? What's, can I get a volunteer? What would you say to Alyssa and Mallory? That interpreting includes the facts and the details that you have in your summary, but it also includes background knowledge and other pieces of information that you're bringing into it. So would it include opinions or no? Okay, so that's a really good question, Mallory. In science, we're not going to be so much worried about opinions. We're trying to back up with facts. Um, obviously, when you are trying to formulate your own thesis, your own ideas, you're going to have a little bit of opinion in there, but we're going to try and make sure that we're really based on those facts, and we might be trying to draw conclusions. So there's like a little bit of opinion there, but really, it's directional. So now is the fun part. We're going to get a little bit creative. So for your guys' next project, to demonstrate your learning on the different impacts on ecology and evolution, you're going to be assigned different groups, and you guys are going to do a little bit of a role play. So. Uh, Zan, pick a number one through four. Three. Three. All right, let's see. Group three, and you guys will get this. You're going to pretend that you're a park ranger in Denali National Park, and you're going to be speaking with tourists about climate change. Pictures. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mallory, pick a number one through four. Four. Okay. You are going to pretend to be a fish and wildlife specialist discovering information about salmon to go do a report on dams and droughts in the Northwest. Brian, would you like number, what do I have left? Number one or number two? One. All right, group number one. You're gonna be coral biologists in Hawaii trying to discuss with a hotel whether or not they should be leaking their sewage waste into your reef. Excuse me. <laughs> Okay, so that means group number two. <laughs> you are going to pretend that you are National Geographic explorers trying to acquire funding for a documentary on deforestation in Borneo. So, now we're gonna go back to this idea of a summary and an interpretation. And this is gonna be in groups and you guys are gonna go to the board. With your groups in mind, what kind of questions should you be asking about summary and interpretation? What are your strategies for success in reading in your particular group? So as you're reading, you guys are gonna get, a, excuse me, um, you're gonna get two articles from me about your particular human impact on ecology. You're gonna have to come up with one more on your own research. But as you're reading these strategies, you're gonna have to give little summaries of each one to me, and you're gonna take these strategies and interpret them and give a little brief two minute presentation to the class from the perspective of the group I just assigned you. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do now, before we break into our groups and start reading, we're gonna talk about what are your strategies for success? What are you gonna think about as you're interpreting your articles? What questions are you going to ask? So I'll give you guys a couple minutes, go to the board, discuss with each other. I'm gonna come around and help you. So our articles will be about 
salmon and the effects of droughts and dams. So, so this is about the dams and droughts and how they affect salmon? I'm going to assume that that's probably what our articles would be. Because that's what us as a person is interested in. So our summer would be focusing on specific details that talk about that. And when we interpret it, we might want to look at interpreting the draw and dam effect of this, is like the long term like effects of salmon. Yeah. Like we can draw conclusions about how droughts and dams, droughts, 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 droughts and dams affect salmon in the long term compared to like maybe we'd be getting information about short term or not about salmon at all. We might just be getting information about dams and its effects on the rivers that the salmon might be in. Okay, so it's, uh, okay. Yeah. Do you want to start writing on that on the board? It's Kristen's turn to write. Okay. I was excited, but I wasn't here. Okay. So, uh, like looking for main ideas or information that can relate to our goal. Looking for supporting details about the big ideas. So you can go around. I saw her looking for something about drama or something about dance, yeah, something about salmon. Yeah. How are we doing, guys? What do we have for her? So we think that for summarizing, we'd probably be looking for supporting details about either drops and dams or about salmon. Yeah. And for interpreting, we're going to want to look and see if we can find those details and connect them, how to draw and affect the salmon. So we're going to want to interpret those and maybe interpret long term results. Yeah, and so if you're a fish and wildlife biologist, do you think you are going to be exclusively concerned with salmon? No, you're going to be probably what I'm concerned with all the fish. Yeah, so salmon is that an important species in like the web? Maybe you're supporting articles to be talking about the importance of salmon as an ecosystem. But yeah, totally up to you guys. Keep looking. Um, let me know if you have any other issues that you want to go around. Yeah. So we need to make a summary. So we tell us what comes out. Yeah. 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 Like the things we wrote down, like we would probably need to summarize the, the questions yeah. that we have and then yeah. make a conclusion. And the pictures won't help. So we get we research, and then we make summaries from that, and from that we can create a dialogue a monologue to tell the Probably they don't like having their iPads and they're just taking pictures and videos of us the whole time. Yeah. 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 Yes. 
So we also sort of came up with a couple questions to focus our reading. And one was, 